Welcome to the second learning live stream of the day, and I'm looking forward to this one. This is kind of a mixture between a learning live stream that I normally do looking at a piece of technology and my very occasional solo adventurer live stream, which I will be getting back to soon. I have a kind of new schedule of season of things I'm going to do on that. But this one is somewhat combined between the two, and I'm going to be looking at Scum VM for playing some classic computer games, specifically text-based games. I am Kristen Schiller. You can find more about me at kristenschiller.com or wherever you are watching right now, you can subscribe or leave a comment. I often use this uh, learning live stream slot as a place where I just mess around with something live. I often go in blind and then I'll decide whether I'm gonna turn it into an edited YouTube video at a later date. I am streaming currently out to Twitch and YouTube. Uh, so I think I will probably turn this into an edited video at some point. But uh, let's get stuck in because I'm looking forward to this one. I kind of came across the whole concept of uh, Scum and Scum VM when I was recently working on the video I have published on YouTube, uh, which was about interactive fiction. And I was looking at some of the classic text-based games. SCUM stands for, yes, Script Creation Utility for Maniac Mansion Virtual Machine. Maniac Mansion was one of the first of these text-based games. Others are games like Monkey Island, etc., etc. And then I discovered that my office colleague actually uses it quite a lot and had a ROM of Monkey Island that uh, I acquired from him that uh, I'm going to use as my sample file, this file here. I might move it to the desktop. Kind of my download folder is a bit messy right now. So here, I've installed ScumVM. This is all I've actually done so far is install it. I installed it with um, Homebrew, I do believe. Let's remind myself. I did brew, install, no, not CMake. Cask. Oh, I thought I did. Uh, maybe it was, uh, ah, okay, there we go. So I installed it already, and that's about all I've done so far. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. I'll quickly check there's nothing. Whoops, it would be helpful to spell that correctly. See if there's any information in there. Um, yeah, not installed. Okay, that's weird. I think there are two different places, uh, two different formulas for it. That's what I want to double check. I know I installed it correctly because I went through these steps before, but uh, I just want to be sure now. Yeah, so there's a cask version, which is the graphical version, and then there's non-cask version, which is something else. But this is getting into homebrew details. Um, what I want to do now is see if there's any the information on the correct version if i just open it up i think i just open it up all right um let's have a quick look at the intro here okay that's not going to work is it let's uh, zoom in instead scum vm is a program which allows you to run certain classical graphic adventure and role-playing games provided you already have their data files the clever part about this Scum VM just replaces the executable ship with the games, allowing you to play them on systems which they were never designed. Com completely including um, the Apple Silicon Max as well. I don't know why now my keyboard shortcuts are suddenly not working. What is going on? <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Zoomed out too much. Uh, and a whole bunch of games here. And even Director. Anyone remembers Macromedia Director? I do with yeah with something i'm not quite sure how i remember it but let's open it up and see where we go from there okay all right good old uh, security checking so we have to do the uh this old what's it here yep thank you very much okay so so far so good pretty straightforward. I kind of basically going to make part of this setting it up and then looking into it and then part of it playing a game. So hopefully we'll have more on the game. 
Uh, automatic update checks. I actually like to use Homebrew to update things myself. Okay. All looks fairly obvious so far. Global options. Graphics mode. Default render mode. Wow. Huh. Default. I'm guessing this is all going to happen automatically. <laughs> OpenGL, key maps, it always gets fun. Audio, I should actually set up um, an audio output so you can uh, hear this when I come to think of it. Not that the sound in these old uh, games is fantastic, but I'm sure it'll bring back some memories. So let me just set that up very quickly. Ready to go when we're ready. Um, volume, MIDI. Oh, MIDI 32. Roll. I don't even know what any of this is. Save path, NISC, Googie scale, cloud. Okay, set up your own cloud for storage, I guess. Running on LAN, all sorts of options here. Okay, you get the idea. I suppose all we need to do is uh, add a game or load, add a game, I guess. Okay, that's not a good start already. <laughs> I thought that was all I was going to need. Let's see. And that means load again. Okay, I thought that was all I was going to need. That's what my friend gave me. Let's see. Documentation. These sorts of projects can often be the documentation for contributing, not necessarily installation, understanding, handling game files adding and playing a game let's get those up i'm not quite sure which one i'm going to need um it looks like i need folder okay Still trying to figure out. For some reason, I thought the uh, archive would be what it wanted, but maybe not. Let's uncompress it and see what happens. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, unclear on that. Huh. <laughs> it's a bit concerning. I don't know. Ah, here we go. Uh, yeah, this looks good so far. Um, and you can also use DOSBox for this. That's another one. Uh, Monkey on a two language English platform DOS. Yes. Graphics. I think this might be where we want to look at this wiki thing. Maybe there'll be some optimal settings there. It's probably work, but it might still be good to, to confirm what's best. Uh, oh, this is... Oh, next page is like, why are there only games up to the letter C? <laughs> 980, yeah, that's a little better. Um, next page, one more page, I think. Oh, on oh, a Monkey Island, LeChuck's Revenge. I think that's what I have, isn't it? Yes. Okay, let's see. So what have we got here? Um, Amiga. PC, I guess that's what I have, I think. Uh, yes, I do, good. Default controls, okay, that's fine. Boot parameters, wow, you can override all sorts of custom things here. It looks like I can just have default settings, I think. I guess uh, I guess that was it, that was pretty straightforward so far, which is, is cool. Um, I'm kind of almost was expecting that to be far more complicated. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. All right. I quite like this weird thing about the cloud save. Um, I don't see it. All right, I'm gonna hook this sound up quickly so we can hear the wonderful audio of a very old game. One second.
I know SCUM is a, an acronym, but it does feel very odd saying SCUM all the time. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully you'll hear the audio when it starts. Um, what does all this mean? That's okay, we need to have lots of games. Start. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. Uh, I'm sure this is online. <laughs> If I end up um, stuck because of this, just enter anything. Okay. What's it after? Oh, numbers. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was easy, <laughs> fortunately. Okay. Um, yeah, come on then. I'm not hearing any sound. We'll figure that out in a second. Let's get past all this bit first. Yes, I do indeed. I do, I do indeed. Uh, yeah, fire lane. Let's double check. No, there is no sound. Not from me. And yeah, this is this is old games. You sit there watching this thing <laughs> over and over. Okay. configuration needed I thought that was too easy okay game options so graphics were fine key maps return confirm hmm. but escape skip return confirm but didn't seem to get anywhere with that but f5 escape return okay audio uh, ah, here we go. Um, I don't know. Uh, PC speaker emulator? <laughs> sure. Dustbox. Oh, this. That seems to make sense, I guess. Text and speech. Volume. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that works. I'm still not sure what's going on with the keyboard. And we're going to have to go through all this again, probably. Still not seeing any, hearing any sound. No, no sound. Uh, looks like I can get, skip things now at least.
deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. Ah, here we go. I would love to have the sound. There was sound in Monkey Island, wasn't there? Um, looks like it is. Does not seem to be any sound. It would be nice to have some, wouldn't it? Let's see. Um... The settings audio. I'll say choose the default. Hmm. Maybe there is no sound in this particular version. Uh, hmm. Now we know how to skip. Oh, this is still going. So yeah. Now <laughs> let's see if we can get this. Uh, maybe there's something else we need to tweak. And then I will just give up on it and uh, preferred. Yeah, it seems to be that default should work. Uh, so I wonder if there's something else going on. Is there like a. No. Um. No, don't. Okay, one last try. And this time we'll just carry on. Okay, let's go full screen now. I wonder what the real answers were. Okay, sure. The nice thing is none of this is loading disk or something. So we have a rickety old bridge. Uh, look at riches. Okay, let's look at riches. Let's look at my riches. All right. Um, I want to pick up the sign. No, I want to pick up this shovel, but okay. 
There we go. We have a shovel. Broke the sign. Well, uh, whatever. <laughs> Look at shovel. In Thrifty Dig, the treasure hunter on a budget. Makes sense. Um, now I guess we can go somewhere. Have a look at this bridge. Don't appear to be able to look at the bridge. I guess we just have to walk. Okay. Oop, hello. It's true. I'm not. What do you know? Okay. Anyone in chat want to give me an idea of what to say? Um. the most piratey thing to say, unless anyone has any opinions. I don't pay for nothing. I'm not a pirate. Tough guy, eh? Yeah. Oops. Okay. That didn't go so well. I wasn't really expecting anything to be fair. Cheeky comment. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Ominous. Largo Legrand. But did he take my money? Do I still have my money? <laughs> So I've lost all my money. Okay. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Off we go. Get a look at that. I'm too used to roleplay games. I just want to click everything. <laughs> but I guess I'm going here. Logo go, nice April, you some sort of chef. How much could you eat? I feel like I remember playing this. Um, yeah. I think everybody's. Wow, he doesn't, really doesn't like him. What's that? <laughs> Flashbacks of deja vu to playing this game in the past. Um, I'm sure he's heard this all the time. Okay, well, that was uh, <laughs> a rather boring answer. Let's go. I bet you there's going to be a phobia. <laughs> True, I don't really want to quite give such a blunt, blunt response. Fine. 
Okay, this shows you when the game was made. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really seeing much else to do here. find everything you're looking for in a bar. So let's go to the bar. Oh, there's not many people here, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess. Talk to the bar again. What's a boy? Just terrible. Probably that Largo guy. Ruining it for everybody, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Everyone wants to get rid of Largo. A voodoo doll. Everyone wants a voodoo doll. I don't exactly know where I get a voodoo doll. Scar from China Melville. It's weird because in the whole uh, uh, city there, it's all on boats. So it's kind of interesting. Jojo. Pew, finally. Is it night time? No cover charge. Can I take it? Can I play the piano? That's it. Uh, I mean, I kind of wanted a drink to come with you. <laughs> Stop calling me boy. Grog. Jeez, so mean. Oh, a pirate. Pixelated beard. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Let's find out who Kate is. I guess I could skip these, but then uh, I wouldn't know what they said. And seeing as it's all text. Why is freelance hyphenated? Weird. Uh, I guess I'm done. 
Okay. Oh, walk to the boo is very good. Can I uh, pick up booze? Use the booze? Well, it's weird that uh, I can interact with it. <laughs> Give booze? I don't know. <laughs> Use shovel on booze. Can't take that dirty. Okay, well, I guess I'm leaving. I'll play this. I'm not going to play it all of Monkey Island. That's where I get a little boring. But, uh. What else can I do? All these pixels, I'm finding it slightly tricky to do. There we go. Let's go to that door. I don't remember games being this pixelated, but I'm sure they really were. Aha! Photographer. This guy wants a voodoo doll. <laughs> I bet he wants a, everyone wants a voodoo doll. These weird hyphens that keeps putting in things. <laughs> Ask it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right. A shipwreck. Arr. Inky Island. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll get the food, this is gonna take a while. saved it. Ah, I see. New save. Oh, there's even an auto save. Sweet. Now. Let's now quit. Fantastic. So, scum VM. Um, pretty cool. Worked pretty well. I mean, I only played one game, of course. Um, and there's a lot of others available here. Up to PlayStation 3. iOS. I wonder what sorts of games you can play on PlayStation 3. Because that's getting a little bit more advanced, I would have thought. I'm actually not sure what they're up to. Like five, isn't it now? I um, wonder what sorts of things I don't know what games here are on the PlayStation 5. Um, something more modern. 2005, for example. Oops, okay. <laughs> Maybe I didn't want to go to that one. Uh, Backyard Football, 2002. These all still seem fairly old. Broken Sword. I, I think the thing is, I'm thinking of these games as relatively new, but they're not. <laughs> Even the ones I think of as new are 20 years old. So, uh, the Dark Tower. Ooh. Anyway, that was Scum VM. It's pretty cool. Um, not really any problems with it. So, not much more to say. Check it out, scumvm.org, if you want to play some classic games. Then, of course, you have to acquire the ROMs from somewhere. And I'm not going to go into details of how that can be done. I'm sure you know. And uh, I enjoyed that. I will definitely try and dig out a few more classic ones. Uh, there's been a few, like Day of the Tentacle, actually Maniac Mansion, um, even uh, some really old ones like Adventure and stuff I've really wanted to play for some time. I wonder if they're available, actually. Let's see. Uh, doesn't look like it, but I think it comes under a different name. But yeah, pretty cool. Free. Uh, open source, I think. Let me see. It would make sense if it was. Um, yeah, it's open source. Different languages. Cool stuff. Good fun. I enjoyed that. And uh, I will maybe, maybe do some more in the future. So, what's on the schedule for next week in terms of live streams? On Monday, I'm going to be looking at Cloud Cannon, a Jamstack CMS. 
And then on the Wednesday, I'll be doing game development. And on the Friday, I may start looking at some new games for the Soul Adventure. And I'll tell you more of that on Friday because I need to set them up and acquire the things I want to go through. But if you enjoyed what you saw, you can always, as always, find more at christianchiller.com, uh, including if you, if you look at my YouTube channel, you will find the video and the blog post I recently wrote and published on interactive fiction and some of these games I covered. So thank you very much for joining me. That was a, a nice, easy one. Uh, I had a frustrating stream this afternoon trying to get something to work in Unity. But this one was nice and easy, seamless, worked really, really well, good, mature project. And uh, I was able to play some games, which was fun and reminded that they could be a, take a little bit of time, those old games, can't they? But I'll be back uh, next week for another week of live streams. And until then, have a good weekend and thank you very much for joining.